Hi everybody, welcome back. So in this video, I wanna talk about things that I do not regret buying. So in other words, things that I think are definitely worth the money. All these things are high quality pieces or items, they're things that I can use multiple times and I have used them multiple times and they were worth the money and I would buy them again. So this is not in an effort to like over consume, like that, that's not what this is, but they are things that are useful to have and things that I feel like sometimes I'll buy stuff and I'm like, I didn't really need this. Like I, I'm hardly using this. Um, but then there's other things I use it and I'm like, this was worth every penny. So that's the type of list that this is. So first of all, a Kindle. I used to be a very avid reader when I was young. And once I got a smartphone and I went to college, I just stopped reading. Um, but I wanted to get back into reading and that's why I got a Kindle. And I know that I'm saying Kindle a lot, but really any e-reader, because technically I could read books on my phone. There are multiple apps that allow, ooh, oh, my camera. <laughs> ah, sorry about that. Camera started to fall. But yeah, there's multiple books or multiple apps that I could use on my phone that would allow me to read. But the issue is, this phone of mine can do a lot. I get notifications, I get phone calls, I get text messages, emails, whatever, alarms go off. Like a lot of things happen on this phone and it's a distraction. But an e-reader, there are no distractions because it doesn't do anything other than allow you to read. And so that's why I greatly recommend some type of e-reader. I would say even if you only read one book a month, it's worth the price. Um, because yes, I paid for the Kindle, but I don't actually pay for books. I have an app called Libby. These are all of my book related apps. Um, there's an app called Libby. It, you connect it to your library card and all the books that are at your local library are now, you now have access to them through the Libby app. And it's not just one library. If for some reason you have more than one library card, or maybe you have friends who live in a different state and they don't use their library card and you want to use it, just put it on the app. And so now you have access to books like in different libraries and everything. So completely free. There's another app called Hoopla, completely free, also connected to your uh, library card. So there's a lot of ways to read for free. So even though you pay for an e-reader, you're only paying really like that one time. So this, this has bought itself like multiple times over because I don't know if you know this, but books are getting expensive. Knowledge is getting expensive if you think about it that way. But yeah, books are like, I went to a bookstore this past weekend. I was looking at a hardback book. Why was it like $50? <laughs> 50, I, I looked it over and I was like, mm, no. Number two, a robo vacuum and or mop. Now this, this was pricey. This one was pricey. I believe this at the time retailed for like $800. So that one, that is a lot. And there are other brands that are cheaper. It's just, I have a lot of things by this one company. But if you can get some type of device that can sweep and or mop for you, it will be something that you are glad you have every single day because it it just makes your life so much easier and i didn't realize this until i started living in places that didn't have a lot of carpet but in this house there is no carpet anywhere like anywhere it's all hardwood which if you've never had to maintain a house with hardwood the dust it's just, I, and I'm and I'm a single person, like nobody else lives here. I can't even imagine if two people lived here or like if a dog lived here, like it's just, it would be a lot to, to sweep every single day. And I understand that that sounds very bougie and I understand that that sounds like first world problems, but I happen to be bougie and I live in the first world. So it is an issue for me. And I do not regret that uh, vacuum that I got and it can both vacuum and mop and I set it on a schedule so every night I give it a break on Saturday nights but every other night during the week I, I also call him Jeffrey because he's my butler so 
<laughs> so I call him Jeffrey. But Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, he sweeps. Tuesdays and Thursdays, he mops. And then Sundays, he does like a deep clean and he both sweeps and mops at the same time. Yes, it's amazing. Now, I don't think that this will completely replace you vacuuming or you mopping. It's just, it does the like daily type maintenance. And then once a week I have, like I'll go around and I'll sweep and I'll mop and I'll get any places that the machine couldn't get. Uh, but it, it, can, it can actually get a lot of places. So I have one downstairs, uh, that's the one that sweeps and mops because, you know, shoes are more so downstairs. Um, so people walking from the outside, if they come inside the house and they're walking through the house with their shoes on, I want I wanted the one that can mop to be downstairs. But upstairs I have one that just vacuums for me. And it's really nice. I highly suggest it. It's something that I use every single day and it, it makes my life easier. And I'm, I am someone who will pay for convenience. I am. Number three. A juicer. This is something that I've talked about in previous videos, if you've seen those, but a juicer has really changed my life for the better. And that may sound dramatic, but it's also the truth. I'm so much healthier now that I have a juicer because I, if I don't eat vegetables or fruits that day, then I'm going to drink vegetables or fruits. And I, it's something that I use every week and juicers can range like, they can be anywhere from like $100 to the one that I got was like $500. But again, you don't have to get the one that I got. But juicers in particular, they just, I just feel a lot healthier now that I have it. Um, on Sundays, I'll like bulk make a juice that can last uh, throughout the week. So I like doing a green juice that has spinach, pineapples, green apples, lemons, and ginger in it. It is very good. And then I also like doing a citrus um, juice. So that has grapefruit, oranges, and lemons. And I kind of alternate between those two juices because they're my favorites. And then sometimes I'll try like new juices um, if I'm feeling adventurous. But for the most part, I just stick between those two juices. So another thing, this may seem kind of random, but it's definitely something that is helpful to have around the house. It's a printer. So this printer, I needed to get this because I never owned a printer. Um, and when I lived in an apartment, the apartment complex had a printer and I could just use that for whenever I needed to print something. But when I moved out of the apartment and into the house, I'm like, mm, I don't have a way to print anything anymore. And so I didn't wanna deal with like buying ink or anything like that. So I researched different types of printers and I believe this one like was around $100, but it's Bluetooth. And it uses a different type of paper. Like it's not normal printing paper. It's like, a, it's, it feels thinner and like slippier, slippy, slippery. There we go. It feels slippery, <laughs> um, but it, like it's still paper and you can print on it. And yeah, and I, it doesn't take ink. It doesn't take ink. So I don't, I'm not a, scientist or an engineer so i'm not quite sure the magic of how it works but it works and it's something that i only had to buy one time i also had to buy the paper but i'm a millennial i don't print things very often but there are occasions where i will have to print stuff and I didn't want to have to be like well where am i going to find a printer like what am i going to do i don't want to have to like go to my local library every time I wanted to print something. I would, I, I mean, I guess I could have, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted to just, cause I'm right in front of my desk right now. I want to be able to turn, pick up my printer and then print something. So definitely if you are in a situation where you don't have a printer at home and you want something like a good investment that works and does what it needs to do, I believe you can print in color on it. I've just never needed to print anything in color. So I, I haven't actually tested that out, but definitely black and white, it can handle uh, anything that you throw at it. Next up, something that's actually very dear to my heart is my walking pad. Now, 
This is not something that everybody is gonna need, but for those of us who still work from home, us blessed people, um, I work from home and I, you know, I, I live at home. So I'm home a lot and I have to be at a desk for uh, the majority of my day. And even when I'm not working like my nine to five, I'm still like editing YouTube videos and stuff like that. So I'm actually in front of a computer for a large part of the day. And it's just, it's not, it's not a very healthy thing. I, this was my year, like I really wanted to be healthier. And so the beginning of this year, I think like January or so, um, I got the walking pad and I also have a standing desk. So when I want to walk, I put the standing desk up, I roll out the walking pad, lay it down and I can walk and work at the same time. Some people will walk like when they're in meetings, but I don't like doing that just because it's kind of distracting because it's almost like, so let's act like this is a, a video call and I'm kind of just doing this because I'm walking and it makes me feel like I'm a video game character. So I don't really like using it during meetings, but luckily for me, I normally have like big chunks of my day where I don't have meetings and that's when I like to walk. And I can get anywhere from like two to four miles a day on the walking pad. So mine has like a slight incline, it's a very slight incline and I will walk, I like to do a warm up of on like 0.5. So again, if you, have been on a treadmill 0.5 is very very slow it's very slow so i'm not like it's not like i'm sprinting while i'm on the treadmill it's a very slow walk but i'm still walking for hours on end usually between like one and two hours next up is smart blinds I know that this is not a necessity, but when I tell you I regret nothing, I regret nothing. And my smart blinds were expensive. They were. They they there's others that aren't as expensive, but I plan on making a video that will go in uh, further depth about the ones that I got. But yeah, they it's just so nice because one of the reasons why I got this house was all of the windows because I really love natural light. And I got these big windows out front. I got windows all on the side of the house and they're tall and I'm short. And I like my blinds to be all the way up so that all the light can come in. And I don't wanna have to get a ladder every single day, every morning and every night. Uh, so I invested in smart blinds and it's just really nice because I wake up to natural light. Like I wake up earlier now because the lights, well, the, the blinds go up every morning and every morning when I come down the stairs, the lights or the, the house is filled with light because the blinds are open. Um, and it's just, it is lovely. It comes in handy when traveling because I have a lot of plants around the house. So the plants need their sunlight. But when I'm traveling um, and I'm gone for multiple days, I don't want to leave the blinds open because, you know, I don't want people to like see in when I'm not here or see in at night. All of my blinds are smart and they come down at night. I can be gone and my plants will still get sunlight. And I know that that's a small thing, but it's worth it. Moving on, an air fryer. So this is something that I actually didn't buy for myself. This was a Christmas present that my parents got me last Christmas and hands down, it's the best present they ever got me, uh, it, well, in my adult life. It is amazing, especially for me because this house does not have a microwave. And at first I was like, uh, cause I've never lived anywhere that didn't have a microwave. But then I was like, but wait, I have the air fryer and I don't miss having a microwave at all and putting things in the air fryer, like heating things up in the air fryer versus he heating them up in a microwave. I think the microwave just kind of like zaps stuff. <laughs> um, so it's not, I don't know, I feel like it makes the food not taste as good in comparison to putting them in the air fryer. If you are early into your adulthood or if you're early into your cooking journey, an air fryer is an asset that you will not regret purchasing. As long as you actually cook, you won't regret that air fryer. So definitely get one of those. Last but not least, 
an electric kettle. So I recently have become a tea girl, meaning I drink tea. And I didn't used to drink tea because I used to think that it was nasty. But this past year, I've been trying to romanticize my life. And something about like sitting around drinking a hot cup of tea just seems like very romantic to me. Every morning I drink a cup of tea and it's just, it's like a, it's a part of my morning routine now and I feel off if I ever don't get to have the tea. Like I was recently home for Thanksgiving and they didn't have a tea kettle and I didn't bring like the different teas that I drink. So the whole time I was there, I didn't have any tea and I was just like, hmm. I wish I had this. <laughs> so it's definitely um, worth it if you drink a lot of tea or, or if you need like boiling hot water quickly. Um, an electric kettle is definitely worth it. And I say an electric kettle versus a non-electric kettle because the electric kettle will just be really fast. Like it will boil the water in like a minute and then I can start drinking the tea like very quickly versus other ones the non-electric ones, they just are longer. They take longer to, to work. So those are my things that I recommend buying. If you are in the market for those things and you're like, ah, oh, it's money. Like, do I wanna spend this money or should I spend this money on it? I'm not gonna answer if you should spend your money on it, but I will say if you do spend your money on it and you actually use that thing, then you won't regret having that thing. And as I said before, all the things on this list, I highly recommend. Um, if possible, I will find links to those items and put them in the description box below. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I hope it's helpful and I'll see you next time.